So it's kind of funny, but it's kind of not. If you're a motorcycle person, you're going to like this. If you're not, you'll probably say that kid's a jackass. So the one time that I almost died on the ATC, and this was malicious, we used to ride our dirt bikes across the Kimberly yard. This is Kimberly Clark. This is Kimberly Clark. Olin, you motherfucker. You almost killed me. So what we did is we used to trespass against their yard. Olin was a weird kid. He had a junkyard in the, in the back and he was always out there rummaging around and he would build stuff. He always wanted to know a little too much about my sister, but he would make these crazy inventions and stuff like this. And one night, one night, there's a knock on our door and it was Olin. And he's like, your horse is out. I'm like, dude. We do have a horse. <laughs> no, I was like, I like, if you're out at this hour at night watching our horses, you're not you're watching my sister, you little weirdo. We used to drive across their land. Now they were an unusual family. I don't know the dynamics of how they got to this. Sponsor me. Um, but <laughs> they had a yacht parked in their yard that was like 40 years old. And it was again, Gilligan's Island. If you see, I don't know, that boat just sat there. It just sat there. And one time they asked me to house it. The old man, Kimberly, used to walk to the end of his the driveway every day with this big cane, no shirt, and he'd go and he'd get, pick up the paper. He was like a mystery to us. They asked me to, to, to cat sit one time. I'd never been in their house. That house was like Vietnam. I walked inside the first time. Most people, when you cat sit, they, you know, they tell you what to do. They're like, you know, hey, just here's the key. And this. I walked in the house and it was like machine guns on the wall. There was all sorts of stuff. And then I, then I found out he was uh, either into guns or a veteran or something. I don't know. But this was this was them, a little unstable. And I used to cut across their property oh, for over a year, no problem. This time I went up, I went up the mountain to see my friend. And when I came back, and now I, by this point, had persuaded all my friends to get dirt bikes. We were like a freaking gang. We were like a dust gang because everybody hated the dust. And we come back. And I'm the front, first in line, and I'm going through this opening in this barbed wire fence. And that barbed wire fence had been restrung in the hour that we were gone. And I saw that barbed wire just in time. And I was like, and I yelled to my friend, stop. I turned around, stop behind. And I leaned back flat on my, on my ATC. And so I was lower than the handlebars. And then I put my hand right here. And I went under the barbed wire fence. And for whatever reason, I had a helmet on that day. I had a full face helmet and I put on the foot brake. So I went skidding through this barbed wire fence and I, I felt the barbed wire snap uh, against my helmet. I was so pissed and I got up and they're like, your hand's bleeding, your hand's bleeding. Well, it turns out I, I just have a tiny, tiny scar right here at this point. But what happened was the barbed wire went up here and just for whatever reason, I protected my throat and then the scratch continued up my helmet over, I would have been like, I would have been, I wouldn't have been that pretty. Uh, I was pissed. I was really pissed. It's their land, but I was a kid. I was stupid. You don't string it. You just put a flag up and say, get off the land, kid. Yeah, that was close. My friends were like, oh, I'm glad you broke the wire for us. I'm like, oh, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah, so I didn't kind of ride my dirt bike for a while. And I didn't tell my mom about that for even a longer while. Just kind of stayed there. And then someone stole it. Good thing that pull start was broken because you found, we found it down the street. They tried to start it and they couldn't get it started. I'm like, ah, there was a trick. You didn't know the trick. Moral of the story. Moral of the story is don't trespass on someone's land if they're weird, <laughs> especially if they're weird. If their kid's out building inventions in their own junkyard and the dad's got heavy, heavy automatic weapons, probably not the people you want to be trespassing their land on. Mm -hmm.